Yeah. So, do you ever have that movie, that horror movie that really scares you as a child and essentially scars you for life? I have one. And that movie is 13 Ghosts. I can't remember when I first saw it, probably age 10 and under around those times. I remember it being on Sci-Fi Channel or something equivalent to that. It might have been on multiple channels because I'm pretty sure I tried to watch it more than once. 13 Ghosts. I probably had no business watching that as a child, but alas, here we are. And... <laughs> Mm. And of course there were two ghosts in particular that r really drove the whole scarring me for life thing home. And those would be the angry princess and the jackal. And I think after quite a few failed attempts at fully- did I ever fully watch it? As a child, I feel like I probably did because I was messed up as a child. But I swear, ever since I would be talking about horror movies and horror movies that I liked and horror movies that frightened me, or movies I never wanted to watch again and vowed to never watch again, 13 Ghosts always came up. Even just a year ago, I'm pretty sure, like on Twitter, on Instagram, or whatever, whenever I would be talking about horror movies to people, 13 Ghosts was always on the list. And so you know what I decided to do in 2022? Watch it. The whole movie. From start to finish. Because at 30, 31 years old, it can't be too bad now. Right? Why would it be? I've seen worse. I've seen worse movies. I've watched Hereditary. I was fine. Hereditary put me to sleep. It was a good movie, by the way. It just, it, it helped me sleep. I don't know. Don't ask. We'll talk about that later. But it was free on YouTube with ads or whatever. And I decided, all right, fine. We're gonna watch 13 Ghosts. I need to see if I'm still gonna be scared of this movie. Probably one of the funnier movies I've seen in my life now. And I'm mad about that. <laughs> 13 Ghosts now at the age of 30, 31. Um, it's essentially a comedy now. Now, don't get me wrong, The Angry Princess and the Jackal, those are still creep me out. Those monsters, those ghosts still creep me out. The other ghosts still creep me out to an extent, but The Angry Princess and the Jackal, I think, will always have a special place um, somewhere in my heart where I was just absolutely petrified of them for life. But as a whole, the movie wasn't really very scary. And I'm kind of mad at myself for watching that because now I feel I miss the feeling of being scarred for life. I will say this though, the one scene where Allison Argent's dad, I don't know his name in the movie, but the one scene where Allison Argent from Teen Wolf's dad gets a glass door slicing him in half. That did still freak me out. I have this thing where in movie scenes, TV, whatever, if somebody is in an enclosed space and that space starts to close and squish them, that's gonna freak me out. I, I can't handle, I can't handle those things. And it's not exactly the same as this because it just, you know, slices him in half. But that was enough. That was that was close enough. And uh. but overall, Thirteen Ghosts is it's a horror movie. It is a horror movie. It's a scary movie. But it does not hold the same weight as it once did 20 years ago. And while I'm happy to have figured that out by now, I don't necessarily regret that I rewatched it finally. Now I know how I feel about it. Now I know that it's not going to scar me for life anymore. But now I suddenly miss the feeling of it. <laughs> I suddenly miss the feeling of being frightened by it. And now I wonder what else can I talk about? What movie can I say has scarred me for life now? I do have that movie though. I talked about Gonjian before so you haven't seen that. It's going to be somewhere around here so watch that because that Gonjian, that is the new 13 Ghosts for me. And it is about ghosts, actually, so it kind of works out. So if you've seen 13 Ghosts, I'm sure you have. Who has it by now? It's like a classic, right? Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Did it scare you before as a kid? And have you rewatched it since and does it scare you now? Let's have a group chat. It's like, it's therapeutic at this point. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Please do hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. From my main channel, I do have a Patreon page. So if you would like to support further horror content here on this channel, being a pledge is always very much appreciated. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it and I will see you later.